When you're eating it, Karen, what do you prefer? That is quite a penis. <laughs> Some of them are horrifying, like bizarre. But it was like a pretty sad looking Easter bunny. I don't have any breast milk. That guy has no talent. I can't think of anything funnier than that. It's Comedians Talk to Porn Star. Yay. Today we're here with the beautiful Karen Fisher. Hey, all right. Hey. Hi, Karen. Hello. I'm Bo Blaze, and say hello to my co-host, Chris Parr. Hey, All right. What's Hi. Up? <laughs> nice to meet you. So, Karen, I understand, and I think now it was last month, but you were the ski MILF of the month. Is that true? I'm not MILF of the month yet, but I will be for April. Oh, for April. Woo! Uh, yeah. Wait, Team Skeeter, is that like hick sex? No, Chris. What exactly would hick sex be? I'm not sure, but I would assume there'd be a lot of meth and very little teeth. Yeah. Team Skeet, the guys who sent us all that shit in the mail, you're wearing a shirt of theirs. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Here, I'll put my hat on. Here's my hat. You know, we had no idea who they were. Team Skeet, like what, Team Cum? What, is, what does that mean? But, <laughs> but now, through the magic of bribery, we not only know who they are, but we love them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is actually the first time I've ever worked for them. Right now, taboo is really, really hot in porn. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are a lot of taboo scenes that are really like pushing the limits. And then we did like a fun Easter scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pray tell, what might an Easter scene be? So the male talent was actually dressed up uh, like in a full honey Easter suit. But I guess <laughs> like they had ordered a nicer Easter bunny suit and it didn't come in time. So the uh, director uh, had to just like <laughs> buy whatever one he could find. It was like a pretty sad looking, <laughs> quite a scary looking Easter bunny. Yeah, but I think it was a pretty hot scene. I think that's all that matters, right? As long as, you know, you're there. I don't think the people are too worried about if the bunny costume's subpar. <laughs> yeah, it starts out kind of like bizarre, but then it gets into good sex with okay. a giant rabbit. With a giant <laughs> rabbit, yes. So we like to start you off, Karen, with the comedy questions. Ooh, comedy yay. questions, folks. Okay. First question, who is your favorite comedian or comedians? Old school, I would say like Chris Farley. I really liked Chris Farley. Good answer. Um, I thought, he, you know, he's very funny. And then new, I really like Kristen Wiig mm -hmm. and okay. Lisa McCarthy. And then I also, um, I think he's very underrated. I like Jim Gaffigan, is that how you say oh, his yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But there's a lot of like funny people. It was hard for me to really narrow it down. It is difficult because there's so many different kinds. I actually saw Gaffigan at Madison Square Garden a couple of years back, and he was a lot of fun. Yeah. There was a couple of years there where every major comedian was doing the garden. Yeah. <laughs> so it also seems like you're definitely a fan of the SNL sort of ensemble type people. Is well. yeah. I, you know what? I For like years, I didn't ever watch SNL. Um, but of course, you know, their movies come out and their movies are really good. Last year, I did start watching more just because you need like, I need to laugh like every day yeah, just yeah. to forget about all this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they're pretty funny. Some of the stuff isn't funny, but a lot of it is. <laughs> I agree. It's hit or miss, for yeah, sure. Yeah. They're all pretty talented. You know, there's no one on there where I was like, oh, that guy has no talent. So, what are some of your favorite comedy movies or TV programs? I would say it would be like Tommy Boy. That was a just mm -hmm. like a classic. Mm -hmm. New, I would say Bridesmaids. I really liked Bridesmaids okay. a lot. And yeah, Farley in Tommy Boy, that is oh, just... Yeah. Yeah, it's a classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great movie. It's so funny now, too. Do you yeah. have a favorite line from that movie? It's not really a line, but I like it when they hit the deer and they think <laughs> it's dead, but then it kind of wakes up and destroys the car. One of my friends has a uh, ringtone that's fat guy in a little coat. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> 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 what is the funniest thing that you've ever seen on set? You've been on a lot of sets, so you must have a ton of stories. Um, 
the Easter scene was pretty damn funny. Uh, especially the storyline and the male the male talent. He was very into the Easter Bunny character. He's really method. Yeah, he was. Where's my uh, carrot? <laughs> I can't think of anything funnier than that. Can you believe this? I mean, she's been, we're going to get to this later, but she has been in the industry like 15 years, and she just had her funniest <laughs> shoot like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, just a few weeks ago, really. <laughs> so who is the funniest porn star? The director for Team Skeet, actually, Rex Oliver, incredibly funny. He's probably, I've never actually worked for a director that was, like, really funny and, like, made you laugh the whole time. <laughs> so I would say him. We're going to have to check out this Easter Bunny shoe. Yeah. We've got a lot of humor. Yes, you can't miss it. <laughs> Sounds really funny. <laughs> he just looks sc- like he looked scary, like a scary... Easter Bunny, <laughs> which made it even funnier. That could have been fun if it was like a horror Easter Bunny. I know. Let's talk fans. What's the craziest thing a fan ever wanted you to do? Or They're mostly like gross. You know what well, I mean? That's perfectly good. <laughs> oh, God. Like, because I do custom videos and Skype shows, several times people have wanted me to do like a, like a poop video mm-hmm. and i just like declined that's <laughs> declined um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where i draw the line I yeah guess. well that's a good line to draw i totally yeah. am I'm down with that <laughs> place to draw the line yeah, yeah. <laughs> so again you've been in porn for quite a while since you started full-time porn what do you think the longest you've gone without having sex i would say the beginning of quarantine yeah I don't even know how long, like months or something. So that must have been strange. You know, and I mean, there was no opportunity to have sex either. So it, I guess it's good. I wasn't like totally craving sex. What? You mean you're not just a fembot? You just don't like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sometimes I am, but yeah, yes, not that. You've been doing porn for 15 years and I, it's unbelievable because it looks like 15 days, you sexy thing, you. you. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the perfect person for us to ask a couple of these questions. How has porn star cock changed Is it still BBC all the way, or has your tasting cock changed over the years? Well, there's really not that much taste in them, Bo, as long as they're clean. Chris, I wasn't Uh, asking you. Oh, sorry. I'm not an expert in any way. That's just what I've... Yeah, sure. Okay. That's what you've heard. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Now, Karen, I'm sorry. I have to be specific with crazy pants back there. But... Uh. How has porn star cock changed over the years? So I think, yeah, for a while, you're right. Interracial was like really hot. And not to say all black guys have big dicks, but a lot, you know, most of them do, especially in porn. <laughs> and then now I feel like what's popular, like, God, it seems to be the most popular thing is taboo. So it's not like as much about the dick size. It's just about like daddy's yeah. cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the mom. So I, I guess it's my stepson. Uh huh. Fuck. Yeah. How does that work for you? <laughs> um, I. <laughs> Disturbing. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> I mean, some of these scripts, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Um, <laughs> and clearly everyone is of age and no one's really related. So it's a fantasy a lot of people have, apparently. So much porn now. I mean, when I was young, my God, I mean, I would uh, look through my dad's room to find one magazine. So now even, you know, even yeah. a 12-year-old is watching Scheisse videos and german and <laughs> and uh people need stranger and stranger stuff i think <laughs> definitely so i'm not sure if you're aware of this but you have very large breasts 
I, I, yeah, I don't know if you knew that. but um, You aren't the first person to say uh, that to Okay, me. okay. Oh. So it could possibly be part of your popularity. I'm not positive, but, you know, let's say it is, okay? How has the popularity of being big-breasted changed over the years? Anything? You know, I feel like when I first started, it was, like, huge, like, watermelon huge you know what i mean like the girls with the crazy big implants those were the girls that were in the highest demand that made the most money and i feel like boobs don't even i mean just depending boobs aren't as important as they used to be and definitely not like huge 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 implants i've seen you listed as either 40 triple d or 40 e does it depend on the on the week or once you get above triple d it's really hard to find bras to be honest with you so i just wear a triple d i usually just wear sport bra or sometimes no bra like i don't have have one right now you're just such a sweetheart that's why Uh (laughs) i did it just for you thank you thank Thank you 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 know we ask our audience to suggest questions for us and i know you're going to find this strange but quite a few like meaning more than two three or four people ask the same thing does your back hurt a lot actually like no it doesn't usually you know my boobs don't make my back hurt you know what makes my back hurt is my butt okay it's my butt not my boobs you're built like a cartoon character oh thank you (laughs) (laughs) see she gets it i always say the more someone looks like a cartoon character the more i like it Uh, (laughs) i guess it depends on what cartoon character (laughs) (laughs) that's very true if you look like quick straw mcgraw we're in trouble anyway Christy, what's a good cartoon character instead of Quickstraw McGraw? I'm old. Uh, SpongeBob, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. If you look like SpongeBob, SpongeBob yeah, yeah. If you look like SpongeBob. I don't, yeah, yeah, not good. Not good for porn. <laughs> Probably not. Unless you're a guy in a costume. That would be an interesting porn for sure. Yeah. Well, maybe not for Easter, but still. Yeah. No, it wouldn't be a good Easter one. <laughs> lives under the sea. Can you give us a rendition, oh, uh, Chris? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Square. I just like making him sing. Anyway, um, yeah. hey, I was there the day it premiered, bro. I, I Were was, you? Oh, yeah. Right. So, look, you've worked with the biggest studios. You've done all the sex with all the stars. A million movies, clips, scenes. So we have an easy question for you. Should be no problem. Of all those scenes, what's your favorite one? <laughs> it might be nope. the Easter Bunny scene. Ah! <laughs> it's a fucking Easter Bunny scene, man. Oh, man, she is so on it. Was this out yet? It's not out yet. Hey, but I want to see it. You are a smart lady, <laughs> let me tell you. It just you. sounds great. All right, we've looked up some of your videos, and we want to see if you can remember what the plot was. Okay. Okay? All right. Things Mommy Taught Me too. Maybe there were some lessons you taught young Billy that weren't covered in things mommy taught me, number one. Oh, God, I have no idea. (laughs) Fair (laughs) enough. Okay. I I had the feeling there'll be lots of that. All right. Now, here's an interesting one. Big Tits Boss 8. Okay. Obviously, this must be an older series because if you try to do this today, it'd be a completely different series. In the 80s or 90s, you just have a woman fucking every one of her employees over and over. Today, she'd make one comment and HR would step in and have security throw her out, you know, and that would be it. Big Tit Boss 8. What was that one? I'm pretty sure I've only done Big Tit Boss once. And um, basically, the economy was bad and voodoo needed to prove that he was a valuable employee oh voodoo now that's that's quite a penis there (laughs) that is quite a penis oh gosh that's probably of the one of the i think the first huge dick i ever did and i wasn't prepared (laughs) chris are you have you ever seen any of voodoo scenes no. Uh, that guy makes you proud, let me tell you. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That was Whatever a, that means. What a fantastic <laughs> answer that was. I don't know why I would feel pride. I think because <laughs> you're black Irish, why Chris. Why are you telling the world this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then probably my personal favorite is Milf Soup 34. 
What the fuck is the premise of MILF soup? Does Guy Fieri simmer your tits in some sort of flavorful broth or something? Like, bam! <laughs> no. That's Emerald Bow. That, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I did a few of those. So, and I think there was really not like much of a scenario, if I'm correct. But what is, what are you doing? Like, why would they call it MILF soup? Like, is there I don't any... know why they call it MILF. There's no soup involved, <laughs> first of all. You just go and fuck, and they call it MILF soup. Yeah. Some soups, you know, they just throw everything together in a pot and make soup out of it. Maybe yeah, it's just... I think that's what it is. It's just like... Got it. MILFs. A Could, bunch of MILFs. Like, like rock soup, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, it's just like rock soup. Perhaps a sex in a jacuzzi or something. There's 34 of them, for God's sakes. All right. Yeah. Anyway, I do like Respect My Titties, because that sounds like a South Park parody. Respect My Athala Titties. <laughs> yes now I, I know what scene that is yeah that one there was a scenario he was like my friend's son and i think he just came over and started eating the cookies that i just baked and then he left crumbs all over and i just had to teach him a lesson <laughs> of course you did of course. of course a couple of others that we liked was uh double airbags nine heavy handfuls Oh, and, God, those are really old. And truck stop fucking violations. Oh, God, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Finally, I do have to say, this one is it takes the cake. Your mom tossed my salad. Oh, God. That number one. eight. You remember that one? My son's ball had gone over into, like, the neighbor's <laughs> yard, and he was bringing the ball back or something like that, and then I decided to toss the salad. Wait, whose salad? The na- whatever the neighbor's name was. Oh, that makes sense. You have to toss his salad to get your son's ball back. Well, just as a thank you. Okay, no quid pro quo. We That's want to fair. Be, yeah, be careful. But since we're a comedy show, are you aware of Chris Rock's famous bit on the toss salad man? No. The very phrase, toss salad, became popular in this country, and it was because of this man. That's the slang word, toss the salad. It means sucking my ass, right? With jelly or without jelly. Some people use syrup. I prefer a guy to use jelly, right? When you're eating ass, Karen, what do you prefer? Jelly or syrup? Um, I would say jelly. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Excellent. All right. I'm not a big syrup fan. You're almost done with us, okay? Yeah. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to play the bio game, okay? Okay. Now, the bio game is... We look at all the different bios that people make up about you. Okay. So some of them are real and some of them are not. And you're going to tell us if it's actually from one of your bios. And if it is, is it true? Okay. Okay, here we go. You can smother a man's face into oblivion. That's actually probably true. Very um, good. True. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if all that was like, I, yeah. But that is probably true. She's modest. She's like, oh, I'm not positive that's true. But yeah. well, it's nothing I would like put in my own bio, but like <laughs> it's true, you know? That is the point of this whole silliness. <laughs> People put shit in your bio and you're just like, yes, that's what they put. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. You have been sued for using your tits as a deadly weapon after a cat fight on the set. That's not true. Very good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You are two for two, Karen. You know your bios. Do you think you could use your tits as a deadly weapon? You, they're not very hard, though. Like, so I don't think so. Have you ever weighed them? Yes. How much do they weigh? You know, not as much as I thought. Just like a few pounds. Really? Those I mean, things- it's hard on those lips because it was on a little, like, meat scale. <laughs> just wanted to know how much they weighed I thought it'd be like gosh maybe like five pounds each or ten pounds each i think it was like less than five pounds each oh, wow. i thought they would be like 12 pounds oh. yeah i thought they'd weigh a lot but by don't. the way you have fake breasts you you say in your in your bio what <laughs> i'm not telling lies out of school it's in your bio no yeah yeah okay all right just make it sure <laughs> why this number why not 48q like why did you wind up with this size well first of all this is the biggest implant that you can get in the usa really 
I mean, you can get bigger ones, but they're not FDA Legal. approved. Right, so right. a lot of doctors won't put them in. That's a fantastic answer. Um, so do you really want a doctor who will do something that's not FDA approved? Like, I don't know. So bigger than this, I really wouldn't want. All right, here we go. Just a couple more. You have described penises or peni, depending on how you like to say it, peni. as throbbing wangs and vagina as poon. I don't think I've ever used those words. You definitely have not, but your bio did. Whoa. Ah, okay. <laughs> there is a bio that talks about throbbing wangs and poon. What bio is that? I'll get it to you. Just curious. Yeah, I would be curious too. Yeah, I would never probably use those terms. No, no not at all. <laughs> I agree. That's what makes this game so fun. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to give this girl a tit fuck, you better be equipped with a real long dong to poke her chin and smother those jugs and jizz. <laughs> I mean, it does sound right. I yeah. It is. Very good. It yeah. is. It's probably the same fucking bio. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, here's another horrific one. Do you describe your male talent as young pieces of teen fuck meat? <laughs> no, oh, that's not true. It is not true, but it is really in a bio of yours. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I knew this would be good game for you because you've been doing this so long that, you know, some guy decides to write a bio about you. <laughs> <laughs> and they decide that you like throbbing cock meat, of course. Yes. Uh, Teen fuck meat. Uh, I mean, I'm sure people, some people love hearing that. I just, yeah, I would never use any of those. No, I don't think so. You're, you're a nice, you're a nice lady. <laughs> lady. Okay, I'm doing Jerry Lewis, sorry. So Should be sorry. Why, you don't like Jerry Lewis? Come on, <laughs> he's beautiful. All right, you describe yourself during your college years as a sex fiend who would fuck anything with a cock or a pussy. Oh, God, that's not true. Okay, well, that's interesting, because that's from another whole bio, but it is a real bio. Are you horrified right now? <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are horrifying, because, you know, people read that, and they're like, oh, that's true. Um. <laughs> okay, and here's the last one. You regularly visit South America to feed the homeless with your giant tits. <laughs> Thank God. I've never been to South America. <laughs> You're right. That We made that one up. Yeah. All right. We made that one up. Yes, that's not real. Okay. But we think it would be a nice thing for you to consider. Yeah. Should I start doing it? <laughs> I think those things could probably feed an orphanage. Yeah. I, I don't have any breast milk, though. That's a problem. Yeah, you know, we hook up something. Yeah, It'll all, all right. We really appreciate you putting up with us. So we're just going to end with our most important question. Tell us a joke. Pretty sad. I it doesn't matter. Little... As long as you are playing our reindeer game, we are very happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I hate Russian dolls. They're so full of themselves. Uh, oh, right. Right. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> I do actually like Russian dolls, so that's why I chose it. All right, folks. We want to thank the beautiful, the wonderful, the actually she's in a sexy position for us. What a uh, what a what a wonderful guest you are to us. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So you can find Karen Fisher at the following social media and websites magically in front of your eyes right now. Just thank you. We had a great time. Yes, it was fun. Thank you for having me. Having your salad toss means having your asshole eaten out with jelly or syrup. I prefer syrup. Why not just oral sex? Well, when a man's sucking your dick, he can pretend that's something else. When he's eating ass, he knows his ass. We don't need a death